Today, we graduate college. It still doesn't feel at all real, but time has come for me to leave this place and pursue greater things. It really was only the other day I was a lost and nervous freshman, trying to talk to people and trying to make friends. It's a very strange feeling knowing that my college days are over. And, uh, what else can I do? The close to the best four years of my life. Then they're making a recap video. We got a full house of stuff. And the kitchen's full too. Coming into college, I had this mindset of growth. Through meeting many different people from all walks of life, that a person can truly grow. Being so far away from home kind of helps. You lose that safety net. So I set out to capture as many experiences and as many stories as I can. I wanted to be 65 and say, Oh, back in my college days, those were the golden years. Things were mostly getting back to normal. The only problem is, now it's senior year. There's only one year left. College was ending. I think it's really easy to see this point in your life as everything. That there are things you can only do now, and things you could only find here. That doing them in other stages of your life doesn't make sense or just isn't quite right. Where else in the world are you going to be surrounded by people just like you? and going through the same stuff as you are. A space to collaborate, socialize, and do dumb stuff. Let's go. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm taking fat L's. You're young, you're free, you're wild. By senior year, I was resolved. I had to go out the bang. I got my head out the sunroof. I'm blasting my favorite tunes. So, I entered senior year with a bucket list of things to do, and a whole bunch of things to experience. It was now possible to see people in person in the classroom again. Oh, I mean, if it's gonna end anyway, might as well find it. So that was not the case. This year was one of the most academically taxing years of my whole career. Sprinkled on with a bucket full of senioritis and this looming feeling of the end. Hypothetically speaking, strictly hypothetically speaking, if it were possible to return to a previous save point, like in a game, and make a different choice, would life change? The answer is no. You can't do things over in life, and one day, the curtains will fall, and even this pointless little everything, and while regretting that one day they will fall, you'll miss out. And just as quickly, June rolled around. And among the highs of graduation, there were also the lows of the eventual goodbyes. I wouldn't exactly say I was robbed of my college experience, even though I lost two years of it. They do say college is the four best years of your life. And they also do say college is what you make of it. College isn't everything, and you don't really have to do everything now. There's really no rush, ever. 
been a long journey, but now it's over. We are returning this place exactly a week and 10 days apart. It's moved in June 20th last year. Emptiness.